Hey YouTube, how we doing? Well, that's right. Today we got another beard oil for you. This one is the Mountaineer brand West Virginia Timber. Stay tuned after I roll that intro. I'm gonna tell you what I think. Alrighty, YouTube, thank you so much for staying past that intro. Now, for you first time guys and you long time viewers who have yet to do it, somewhere down below, all right, there is going to be a little channel watermark. Go ahead, hover over that thing, it's going to pull up subscribe. Go ahead, click on that, man. Get it out the way, get it out the way early, and you will feel better about yourself for the rest of the day. All right, with that being said, this is like, I think, the second, third, or fourth beard oil I ever bought. This is a brand new bottle because I ran out of one a while ago. And I figured, seeing how I'm bringing oils to the channel, I'd like to bring stuff that I personally use, and especially ones that I first started with, and give you a you know, really good feeling about them, for lack of a better phrase. They are made in the, you know, the USA in Martinsburg, West Virginia. Now, what I love is they're not lying when they say fur. The scent is an overwhelming mix. Not, not overwhelming, bad thing to say, but it's, it's a mix of cedar and fur. Yeah, you can definitely, you definitely smell woods when you open the top. The only thing I don't like is those little stopper bottles. I'll admit it, I'm thoroughly spoiled by like the little droppers, you know, little eyedropper things. I love those. It's a two ounce bottle, which I thought was cool, basically for the same price as a one ounce bottle, but I'll get to that in a moment. It's got this blue plastic bottle, and I mean, even the labeling's kind of cool, all right? They are proud to say, and they advertise this huge on their website, that it's 100% natural oils. So there's really no harsh chemicals in here that's going to mess up your body or your beard. All right. There's the ingredients list. Grape seed oil, almond oil, castor seed oil, uh, cedar wood, fir, oh, cedar wood oil, fir needle oil, and eucalyptus leaf oil. This is what killed me. So when I went on their website to do the homework, they spent most of October donating a huge proceed of their sales back to breast cancer. So I thought that was cool. They're giving back. They have this incredible social media presence. I even watched a freaking video how they made their bombs. They didn't tell you what ingredients went into it. They just showed you everything melted down, how they're filling the tins, how they filled these up, and even how they did some of their shampoos. I'll admit wholeheartedly, Mountaineer guys, they were the very first beard shampoo I ever used. And I'll be bringing that to the channel too. Ooh, if I didn't mention it already, look up top somewhere if I haven't put it up there already. There's going to be a link to every single beard care product I've ever done. Well, a review on, I should say, up there in that card. So take a look at that and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about on some of these. I'm always updating that, so if it's not in there yet, just keep checking back. All right. Now what I said was about the price. Normally I'll pay between 10 bucks and 20 for a one ounce bottle. This at Walmart cost me $9.99. Over on you know, the Mountaineer website, which is it on here somewhere? Yeah, there we go. Mountaineerbrand.com, $12.50. And on Amazon, $9.41 in free shipping. That's a hell of a steal for a two ounce bottle. Now, I will say this, and this is not any disrespect to Mountaineer brand. I've seen some other reviewers out there call it a premium beard oil. Guys, there is no such thing as a premium beard oil. Everybody basically uses the same amount of carrier oils. The only difference is the scents that put into it and your personal favorites when you go out there and you buy. So think about it that way. All right. I really didn't see any ratings on Walmart. Of course, I didn't go looking on their website when I just walk into the store, pick it up off the shelf. If I like it, I'm good. It's got 679 reviews on, you know, Mountaineer brand for this one. It's rated 5 out of 5 stars. But here's my problem. And I call this the Gerber effect. If any of you have ever watched any of my um, reviews about Gerber blades, you'll know what I'm about to say. You cannot in any freaking hillbilly cousin screw in math get 5 out of 5 stars when I saw 7 2-star reviews and 5 1-star reviews. But that's out of 679 reviews, so I don't know. Maybe you might want to check your calculator or your smartphone and redo that math. You guys have a great product. Just don't Gerber it up. 
Now, don't get me wrong. I love Gerber products. I just be honest with your ratings, you know? Over on Amazon, it's been reviewed 1,739 times, and it gets 4.4 out of 5 stars. For me, I give it about a 3 star. It coats great. It's about a medium oil. I mean, the scent lasts a while. It's just not one of my gonna run to go to oils. Doesn't mean it's not perfect for you. I'm just saying my experience with it, it's kind of medium right in the road. What am I gonna wear? I don't wanna wear anything too heavy. Don't want this. All right, screw it. Let's put it on. Now, before I forget to say it, I say this in every beard oil review that I do. The oil is for your skin that's under your beard. Not necessarily for your beard, but your skin. It helps prevent that beard drop. It helps prevent, you know, flaking. It helps prevent a whole bunch of stuff. And it also really promotes great healthy growth of your beard hair because your body can only produce so much oil in order to, you know, properly grow hair. Which, I'm okay that this won't grow. I'm fine. I know I'm going bald. I keep it cut short because my days in the military. But I let this grow because I can now. So, yeah. Now, with all that wonderful stuff being said, I wonder what you guys out there think. Especially if you've used the Mountaineer brand. Leave me your questions, comments, love, hatred, all that great stuff down below in the comments section. Let's get a great dialogue going about this. Now, for you first-time viewers, thank you so much for taking a moment of your day to view one of my videos. I really appreciate the fact you're viewing one of mine, seeing how there's a lot of videos out there on YouTube that you could be watching. So I'm very flattered and thank you. For you long-time viewers, especially you first-time guys who haven't done it yet, look down in the bottom corners, man. You're going to see a big old channel logo popping up. It's a lot bigger than that small channel watermark, I promise you that. Go ahead, click on that thing. It's going to bring you right to subscribe. After you subscribe, please go ahead and nail that bell icon. Why? Great question. It's going to notify you, my amazing viewer, every time my dumbass uploads a brand new product. Excuse me, not product. God, video. I need more sleep. I got a hangover. Partied way too much last night, so sorry for that. Hey. Now, speaking of videos, two of them are going to pop up either on that side of the screen or that side of the screen. Those are going to be videos that YouTube is going to select from my catalog that they think are going to be a great viewing experience for you. But there we go, guys. My quick look at the Mountaineer West Virginia Timber Beard Oil. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great one today.